Shalom. Hi. <laughs> Is the video audio a little loud for you, Jeff? Yeah. No, I had I had to turn it down a little bit. That's okay. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Let's Play That's Wisdom Tree. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! I said shalom. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, no. Okay, I'm sorry. This is a it's a knee jerk reaction. <laughs> I'm used to doing that. I've done that for about 400 straight videos. All right, so you can shut the music off. Okay, that's you good to know. You can also change the speed. Does nothing. Changes literally nothing in the game. Sorry. Do a sound test. All 15 sounds? <laughs> All right. Uh, D David, what are we doing? What's going on? All right, so we are playing through a whole bunch of Wisdom Tree games, and we are starting with Spiritual Warfare. Uh, Spiritual Warfare is uh, a game, well, you'll see it when we get there, but it is the best one they've made that I've played. It is a great name for a game. Right. So this is me showing off that you have a kind of eight-way movement and then failing to go through a door. All right. So much like Zelda, you go through the first uh, door you find, and it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. In this case, it is a pear. Your weapons in this game are the literal fruit of the spirit. All the rooms empty. Whenever you go back in. Are the, the literal... not empty. There's a dude in there. <laughs> well, the angels, they don't count. Okay, um, angels don't count. So, all right. The people give us hints. He's As telling a balloon? Us, yeah, he's a little kid. Little kid okay. has a balloon. Um, this little kid also has a balloon. That's how you can tell they're little kids. The green balloon. So we'll need Samson's jawbone, which totally is not the boomerang to get in. Okay. All right. So here's how we deal with enemies. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, go on. You throw the fruit of the spirit at the enemy, and then they okay, repent. Okay, yes. They turn into white people with red hair, and they repent. All of them. Now, what he just did is uh, sometimes when you uh, bludgeon somebody into righteousness, a devil comes out of them, and then you bludgeon the devil to, to death. With the fruit of the spirit, of course. Right. So the enemies are... Uh, I, I actually really like a lot of the enemies in this game, even though they're all variations on a very simple theme. It's just like, what what does Color Dream slash Wisdom Tree think we think sinners are? Also, there's a heart container on the left right there that we can't get yet. Sinners are just people. Right. In this case, it's just random dudes walking around with knives. And not, not certain kinds of people. Everyone. <laughs> Everyone, yes. So... <laughs> Everyone's a sinner, and but it's uh, it is it is amusing uh, the enemy types eventually. Like, but all this of is them... less this is less terrible than I was expecting because like you're moving in <laughs> directions and then it's going in those directions and right. then like you go to the edge of the screen and it actually scrolls to mm -hmm. another screen. Exactly. So spiritual warfare is one of the later games they made and is point of fact one of the better games. Uh, oh, I got hit. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Oh, hey, hey! It's a, it's an angel, buddy. Come here, angel, buddy. Are you ready for some quizzes, Jeff? Uh, yes. Of Give course. me an answer. Answer it. Go. Answer it now. Truth. So Congratulations! A, yeah, yay! <laughs> the All guy right. has a sweet bow tie. He does. Yes. So I'll set you free. Your I feel like these are kind of low balls. You know, yeah. Kind of, yeah. Not low balls. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, uh, basically very easy. Right. Who said it? Who said it? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this... I, I'm not even going to answer that one. <laughs> Who in the Bible claimed to be the one answer to everything? <laughs> the way, the truth, the light. The very emanation of God. <laughs> I think it was Paul. I don't remember. Yeah, okay, maybe it's been Paul. Yeah. Now the thing with this, uh, with these quizzes, is it's always five questions, and if you uh -huh. get all five right, you get two hearts refilled, and you get ten dubs. Now those aren't actual dubs; there's just representation. Those are oh, your the, the, <laughs> that bow tie is spinning. Yep. Also, it kind of looks like he swallowed like a slime from Dragon Quest and is peeking bit. through. A little bit. But those are just his buck teeth. Um, okay, just buck teeth. So, the the if you'll look in our top right, we have the jars, which are bombs. Uh, you just get bombs. There's no special pickup for that. 
or oh, okay. no special like item dungeon thing you have to go through. Okay, so like Zelda one, yeah. Yep. And uh, here's a railroad. It's the fast travel that will be several videos before we get to. He says, "Stop! You can't use this." And you can walk by him, but that's because nothing in this game uh, is solid if it moves. If it's moving or if it's a sprite, I guess would be the way to phrase it. All right, watch this guy play basketball. Also, let's get into the stadium by blowing up the corner of it. All right. He's also saying, if you need guidance, go to church. Okay. This is in a different time period than I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he took a shot. Oh, <laughs> missed it. He did. Sad. That's actually the fastest he's ever taken a shot anytime I've ever played this game. Normally, I have to idle for about a minute to get it to happen. I just thought that was really just absolutely unnecessary for them. He could have just dribbled forever, but like, no, he has to shoot, and sometimes he can make it, and sometimes he can miss. If I could, if I could briefly read uh, an excerpt from Ephesians 6. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. This is the New International Version. Okay. Uh, finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so you can take your stand against the devil's schemes for our struggles, not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. This is where spiritual warfare mm -hmm. comes from. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground and have, and after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the buckled around your waist, the in place and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to this, take up with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the and the sword of the which is the word of God. So now, you, you I'm trying to say is that they could have just gone with the sword from Zelda. So here, here's the deal. You have just spoiled uh, every major item we're going to get in the game. <laughs> here's, here's the deal. If that were not true, I would be so disappointed. Like, you wouldn't even believe. <laughs> like, it covers, the, like, that little section from Ephesians is basically a game design. It is. Yes. It's like, here's, here's, a, here's a fat equipment list. <laughs> yeah. So that little kid was telling we need uh, the Belt of Truth uh, to get past here. Uh... Something you missed while we were uh, while you were quoting the design doc for this game slightly. Yeah. They also they also decided you know fruit of the spirit. Let's have that because um, you can't just have one weapon in these games. They spent a lot of money de well, like developing an intelligent shooting design doc. <laughs> uh, uh? Uh, okay. That's good. <laughs> and regardless, uh, we missed yes. some fun enemies to talk about. Okay. They're the uh, guys who have what I assume is either a can of spray paint that they've been sniffing, or alcohol. I don't know which. Uh, and then bicyclists. Because screw bicyclists. Yeah, you're, you're right. <laughs> is there anything worse than bicyclists? <laughs> dogs, as it turns out. So, oh, like Zelda, there are 2D sections. Okay. And when you go up and down ladders, your arms get crazy long. Also, if you hit two directions at once, your animation speed doubles. Wee! I see. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Most of the time I hit two directions at once just because it's amusing to watch um, Bob, as I've named him. Wee! Mm -hmm. Yep, he is super stoked. <laughs> Uh, another fun thing is, for some reason... Um, oh, this is when I remembered, hey, I should show off the... Uh, the item screen item and the screen, map. Sure. So the uh, the hands we're going to actually see at some point. <clears throat> I'll explain it when we get there. But all the uh, fruit of the spirit I represents see. something. The, yeah, the fruits of the spirit. Okay. Yep. Grapes represent joy. Bananas represent faith. Even though the doves represent faith. Whatever. Um, you'll also notice a key counter in the uh, top. But watch the font change color. <laughs> For some odd reason, in certain screens, your font on your menu is yellow, and in others, it's white. I don't know why. Okay. <clears throat> Just palette issues, I guess. I'm sure, like, all their games were held together with a dream and a prayer, so... Well, not really a prayer in their case, but uh, a desire of money. Also, barrels. Do, do you want me to sing Bon Jovi? No, I don't. <laughs> I really don't. Okay. We're well, I mean, we're about halfway there. through the video. Yeah. Damn it, you're supposed to let me finish the joke. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So here's what we use faith for. Uh, you use it in shops. Faith is money. Ah, uh, faith is money. Mm, better, better not read into that one. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> the the problem with uh, faith uh, or with with this is if you don't have enough faith for something, they just say, "Oh, it looks like you need more faith. Come back when you've gotten more faith." It's like, well, that's a little on the nose. All right, we got an apple. Let's try it out. I don't like apples, actually, in this game. Apples pierce and are slow. Also, this is a boss. This okay. is the first boss of the game, Man Who Hides Behind Rock. They <laughs> literally the, combined... Is that the official name from the source book? <laughs> I don't know. It's... None of these guys have names. That requires more text than is, is there. So Yeah, those apples aren't really great. No. So the I idea... do not like these apples. <laughs> So you'll notice it says times one, times whatever. I believe there are four of every fruit in the game you get at different places. And uh, once you have four apples, they're pretty good. Okay. Hey, we beat the first boss. It took one hit. And we got the Belt of Truth, also known as the Ring of Power. All right, the power bracelet, yeah. Yep. Are you sick of this uh, music yet? Mm, not quite yet, but, you know. I can, I can I can just turn it down. Yeah. The uh, <laughs> the thing to remember is this is the only music in the game, as far as I remember. It's these two songs. So, not counting like intro, outro stuff. So, oh, all the barrels disappeared. That's fun because it when it scrolls, it's the default state of the world, and then it loads in Until what's it there. Until catches up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's uh. Yeah, but. Uh, so if you play this game and you don't know where you're going and it takes you like 14, 15 hours to do it, I don't that know. That seems like too many hours. What? What am I doing? What are you doing? Where am I going? Oh, I meant to... Well, whatever. Uh, <laughs> editing, I forgot to do. It's fine. Uh, so that little kid's still there. Uh, the thing with the little kids is they disappear after what they've said is, re is no longer relevant. I guess that's of, convenient in a way. <laughs> it's better than, I guess, them not saying, like, well, they just don't say anything now. It's, well, they, they're they gone. I mean, why would they just do regular NPC stuff, which is repeat the same thing over and over again until I don't, the end of time? I don't know. Also, this was also, whatever. I was showing off that the enemies do respawn after some arbitrary number of screens, but I don't remember what they are. Since we got the belt, though, we can move these trash cans. Okay. Not just the trash cans. We can move anything that's uh, pushable. So any rocks, any squares. Uh, but unlike Link, who can only push a lot of things once and then never again, we can push everything in this game until we run up against a solid obstacle. That's, that's what we call innovation. Yes. That's what you call not setting a limit on an ability because that's way harder. Are you ready for more quizzes, more questions? Sure, let's do it. <laughs> this is just such a loaded question. <laughs> Every this creature. Is, <laughs> this is not even true. <laughs> it wasn't explicitly like, yeah, you also need to tell the gospel to like your turtle. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was the human beings. Okay, the Apostle Paul was, was he ashamed? Not ashamed? Or a judge? I suppose... Now I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna say technically, the Apostle Paul yes, but the person who was Paul was at one point a judge of it. Yeah. All right. Evil men went to the churches in Galatia to pervert the gospel. True or false? True, true or, false. or false? True or false? Uh, I guess it was true. It was true. Hmm. If I feel like there was a some sort of letter that was written about this very issue. <laughs> Maybe. They probably should have put it in the Bible, but I guess there wasn't enough space. Yeah, they probably yeah, they, they ran up against the character limit. So, this little kid said we needed the belt, so we have the belt, the and now we can Ni leave. The Council of Nicaea yeah. has similar restrictions as Twitter. Exactly. <laughs> 4,000 character limit. Uh, so, we are now downtown. This is the next area. We are killing businessmen. This is where you realize none of the sprites have black lines outlining anything. 
That is that is true. <laughs> right, and you're not killing businessmen. Sorry, okay? sorry. We are forcing repentance on them through blunt trauma, with the spirit of love. This sorry. is also problematic in a way. <laughs> so this game does not have saves. This game has this. So this is uh, this long pause is a uh, is an example of how long it took me when I was a little kid to write these out and then always get something wrong. For example, at the end of the first line, that's not a one. That's an L. That's a lowercase L. I see. <laughs> I, yeah, I can see the ones now. Yeah, I didn't it's notice that, that a, <laughs> the first time I played this. Slight pixel difference. Yes. <laughs> So when I was going back to record the next episode, I the the it wasn't right. So I had to actually load up this video, look at the end where the pu the password was, and go, "Oh, that's an L." Great, good. Also, my score was thirty five fifty. I don't I see that. I don't know. I just don't know. Also, no sound for this, none whatsoever. Maybe I should have put something in, but eh. that's fine. You spend fix so it in post. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Post. Oh, that thing used to... Wow, I left it on this screen forever. Yeah, there's a... There's like another 40 seconds of this. <laughs> well, no, no, no. It's not just the screen okay, and then the all end. Right. I mean, we can look at the arrow on continue. It's 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 okay, it is flashing, flashing between okay. a few a uh, few colors. Um, I... Th man, I left it on this for like a minute. Straight. Good. This is the this is the p the pure spiritual warfare experience. Yeah, exactly. At least, at least in the memory, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. We just left it on the screen for a while and, and wrote everything down. Oh, there we go. And then it just kicks you right back to here with the flaming sword. Version 6.1. Do you want me to go back and uh, censor out all of the different uh, parts of the armor of God <laughs> from Ephesians? Because <laughs> it's spoilers. Y yes, actually. Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, this, this is actually this is not the first time that we've used a passage from the New Testament to spoil the end of a game <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's all full circle yep uh, uh, so uh, next time uh, feel free to join us on uh, our first look at another wisdom tree game uh which is still not Baby Moses bad. Okay. It's still not Bible Adventures. I still found it amusing. And you'll right, see then. what that is whenever I record it and upload it and we talk about it. <laughs> so yes, that will be the next part of the series as a whole rather than just going through a game. One game at a time. We're going to yes, hit we'll, we'll uh, the four games in the intro. Things. <laughs> Yeah, well, how about that? That's weird. It's, it's, there was some pla there was some planning. There involved. was some planning. Uh, granted, if you're watching this and you have not watched the episode zero where I go over what this is, go back and watch that. It makes all this make way more sense. Um, but yeah, if you like this, feel free to give to our Patreon, and uh, it might be called. You might even call it tithing. No, <laughs> no, no! You it wouldn't. is not that. It's not that. Not that at all. <laughs> Please don't call it tithing. That's that's more than a little bit. More than a little bit uh, heretical. <laughs> yes, heretical blasphemous. These guys. Have been. Yeah, we are not a church entity. And even <laughs> even though I work for a church, that doesn't mean that <laughs> we don't have that status thrust upon us either by a government in a tax sense, nor by God. <laughs> Accurate. We talk about video games, and that's... Uh, although, although, technically speaking, we are the church. Right. Yeah, the, the actual organization. That, anyways, this is a techni technicality on theology there. The it's, church is the, the people of God following uh, Christ's teaching. I have a it's not massive the buildings book. of God. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on. So I have a murder weapon sized book here called A Theology for the Church. Let's see if it has anything on the word church. It's very meta. <laughs> it's a it is a long long book. Now let's see if I can find How does theological prolegomena impact the church today? 
What is what is that word? Prolegomia. Prolegomia. What is that? Uh, let me ask my memory. You're gonna look Pro-lo-go-mina. it up. Prolegomia. Mina. Uh, I am consulting my memory. Hold on, I'm I'm pulling up the page in my oh. memory. <laughs> It's a word that comes from Greek, meaning what needs to be said before one begins. To introduce a... No, hold on, it came back to me. Uh, <laughs> the ancient Greek word used to mean prologue or introduction to introduce a larger work uh, that is an example of a book. Hmm. So, yeah, this uh, I thought I was going to have a pithy joke to read from here, but I forgot that it's just super, super dense and full of words that I don't know how to say out loud because I've only ever read them. You want to hear about the Council of Ephesus? Uh, sure. Why not? All right. This council saw the condemnation of a man named Nestorius, died in 451. Some scholars believe that Nestorius himself was not a Nestorian. However, through unfortunate religious and political circumstances, he was blamed and condemned nonetheless. Well, that's the first sentence. Um, That's a pretty good Nestorian. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna kill it on that one. I think that's good. It's but it's providing a lot of historical context to the conversation. <clears throat> I'm actually running kind of low on drinks. I think I'll go down to the store and pick up some more. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. I, th- those are the three jokes I have based the, on that guy's name. <laughs> those are the three. You couldn't. Those are the three. <laughs> There's no fourth one. That's it. Just the three. I wouldn't want to make a fourth one because I think three is a good biblical number. Okay. Uh, there was a uh, one of my old pastors. His uh, his daughter was going down a slide way faster than she thought she was supposed to. And she said a bad word three times in a row. Okay. And uh, and when this was brought to his attention, his response was, "Well, at least she said it in tr- uh, divine trinitarian form." <laughs> it's good. Yep. <laughs> I like that guy. <laughs> He's pretty good. Uh, all right, I think we should stop recording now. Yep. <laughs>